What's up everybody, this is Oscar Alcala, DP and cinematographer for Sammy's Camera, and I've got a little something different for you guys here today, and that's in the form of an audio accessory from our friends at Tascam. So, if you wanna pick the level of your audio from your DSLR camera up to a cinema level, stick with me and let's check this thing out. The Tascam CAXLR 2D is a digital interface that's built to go on top of your camera's hot shoe and it'll allow you to gain two XLR inputs as well as a third 3.5 millimeter input. Now audio is one of the most important pieces when you're trying to shoot high quality video. And some of the cameras out there have decent inputs built into the camera, but what happens if you're trying to use a high quality boom microphone or a microphone that requires phantom power like the NTG lineup? How do you get that power to that system and how do you get that connection into your DSLR? Well, my friends at Tascam here have solved that issue. And if you remember, one of the videos that we came out with a couple of weeks ago was on the Canon R5C. And that was a really, really nice camera, but one of the features it lacked was a high quality audio input system. So Tascam has gone and, and built a unit specifically for that camera, but for Fuji and Nikon. And as a matter of fact, with this accessory right here, you can actually mount it on any camera's hot shoe as a cold shoe, and as long as that camera has a 3.5 millimeter input, you are able to get two XLR inputs into your camera, and you have it on board, synced up with the video, so you no longer have to have an external audio recorder and have to sync them up in post. That is huge because if you're running and gunning like we often are, it's nice to just have the audio baked into the video track and you don't have to worry about syncing in post. Now the unit I have in my hands right now is made to work with the Canon R system as well as the XF605 that we shot a video a couple weeks ago. Now that camera had a handle with XLR inputs, but you only get two. So with this unit, you'd have four XLR inputs. Now that's gonna be huge if you're running audio for a maybe a TV show, a documentary where you need multiple microphones, or even a concert type of setting where you're gonna need all those audio inputs into your camera. Uh, this unit is really nice, it's not too big, uh, it has a very nice heft to it. Uh, the exterior is a plastic, but it feels very, very good in the hands. Uh, it looks very weather sealed, except for maybe just this little hole back here. Uh, but everything else is really nice and covered. You've got this nice little shield here. Make sure nobody touches your settings once you have that set. You also have a boom mic holder here with a nice rubber grommet here to hold that microphone. Now some other units like this have this accessory up here, but they don't come with this unit here and it leaves your uh, boom microphone, maybe like your NTG, just kind of dangling around, but this gives us a really nice secure feel. You also have some really nice um, vibration dampers right here built in, which is really nice and it's gonna make sure that if you know your camera gets bumped or you know, you're know you hand holding it, you've got some wind or whatever, that's not gonna transfer to your audio. So that's really nice. You've also got a cold shoe up on top uh, and this is gonna be great if you're running lavaliers, uh, even something as small as like the Rode uh, Go system. It's gonna go up there on top and it's gonna be really nice and small. Uh, and held very well. If you're running XLR cables, you've got two uh, XLR cable clips up here to make sure your stuff doesn't get yanked out. And if you're running this on a camera that doesn't have a digital hot shoe adapter, the Tascam actually makes a battery uh, little box or adapter that goes on the bottom here. And that'll allow you to give phantom power to your microphones if your camera itself is not giving that power. Now, if you're running with the R system with the digital hot shoe accessory, you will get phantom power from your camera's body, so you won't need any additional external power. Uh, but, you know, if you're running Fuji uh, or Nikon, um, that is an option that you can add on the bottom there. Now, one of the nice things that Tascam has included on the back of this unit is a 3.5 millimeter output. Now, above this little output, there is a switch here. So, 
If you're using the Canon R system or the Fuji system and you have that digital connection with the hot chew, this can be flipped and turned into a headphone output, which you do have attenuation here, which is really nice. You can change the, uh, the level of your headphone output. But if you don't have that digital connection, maybe you're shooting with a Nikon system or any other camera system that has a cold shoe on top, uh, you can go ahead and flip that switch into the little camera icon and with the 3.5 millimeter cable that's included with this unit you know, plug that into your camera and use this as a line out, which is really, really nice and convenient. Uh, if you are using the digital connection, one of the nice things and something that I really like with this unit is this lock system here. You don't have to worry about tightening it or anything like that. All you do is you slide it in and you flip that little switch there. It gets nice and tough and you know you've got a really strong connection. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go over the CAXLR 2D here. And we're going to start at the very top of the unit. And you're going to see you have this nice cold shoe adapter here. It's going to be great if you're running like a shotgun microphone on top for maybe scratch audio, or if you're running a lavalier system like the uh, Rode Wireless Goes. That's a really nice unit that'll clip on top of here, as well as some other accessories. Uh, you can really just use that as, you know, as an accessory, a cold shoe for anything that you want to mount on top. Uh, on the top right here, you're going to also find your uh, shotgun microphone holder. And although you might say this looks flimsy, this is actually done on purpose here. Uh, you've got this really nice metal bracket going all the way up here. And you've got these nice two little um, vibration dampeners built into this, uh, which is why you have that flexibility and that movement. And what that's gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow any vibrations coming from your camera or maybe uh, from the wind or something like that to not transfer over to your microphone. So that's really nice, well built. Here you'll see you can, uh, you can tighten it up here. And one of the nice things, and I'm so happy that Tascam included, was this nice little rubber grommet in here that's gonna hold maybe like thinner uh, microphones like the NTG system uh, from Rode. Uh, and then we're gonna move on to the right of the unit. Here on the right of the unit, uh, you've got your two XLR inputs and they've got some really nice uh, weather sealed caps there. Uh, if you, know, you don't want anything to get in there. Uh, and you'll notice that these units here uh, have two different options. So you have your XLR input, but you also have a quarter inch jack input. If you're inputting a microphone or maybe signal coming out of a DJ system or you know a mixer, that's gonna come in handy. You can definitely use that for those two different options. Uh, you see you have your little push clip there. That's gonna make sure that your XLRs are nice and locked in there. You also have your third input, which is right over here. That's gonna be a 3.5 millimeter input. And like I said, you've got your nice two little clips right here. There's one on each side for your XLR cables uh, to make sure those are secured and you're not tugging on the, uh, the connection. In the back of the unit here, you're gonna see that this has a 3.5 jack output with a switch directly above it. And this switch is really nice because, uh, you know, this, this unit is made to work with uh, the digital hot shoe connection uh, with your Canon system or your Fuji system. But if you're shooting with Nikon uh, <clears throat> or any other unit that has a cold shoe and 3.5 millimeter jack, you're gonna actually have your signal come out of here and plug into your camera and get uh, you know stereo input that way. And so what the Tascam unit will allow you to do is if you're using it on camera, then you can flip it up to the top and that'll provide that uh, line out. But if you're not, if you're using the digital connection like we did, uh, you can actually use this by switching it down to the headphone and use it as a headphone output. And you've got your attenuation here uh, to bring up or down the level of your headphones, which is really, really convenient. Um, so let's go ahead and move over to the side of the unit here. We're gonna flip up our little uh, plastic lid there and that makes sure that once you have all your settings dialed in, uh, you're not accidentally pushing something or moving something. So we're gonna move from, <clears throat> We're gonna move from the left of the unit here and you're gonna see that right here we have two little uh, battery indicators and depending on how you're using this unit, so if you're using it with a digital uh, hot shoe connection, uh, that's gonna 
give you a nice little indicator there that you're connected and you're using the power from your camera. But if you're using the additional accessory, the battery accessory that goes below this unit here, uh, then you'll, you know, you'll have your power, your battery power indicator there, uh, which is really nice to have so you know how much power you have. Uh, to the right of that, you have your uh, input selector there. That's going to allow you to choose how you want these inputs to go into your camera uh, and which inputs you're going to be using. So if you're using the 3.5 jack, you just switch that up. Uh, if you're using your 1 and 2s, your XLRs, you can use that. Or if you're just using one input, boom, you can switch that over and now you have that nice uh, mono signal. Now to the right of that, you have your input selector here and that's going to allow you to switch from line input mic input or if you have a condenser microphone or a shotgun microphone like our NTG4, NTG2s or uh, Sennheisers that don't have you know an internal battery then you're going to need that plus 48 volt phantom power and that switch down all the way to the bottom there in the orange will let you know that this is providing phantom power to your microphone. Below that you're going to have your gain knob here. This is going to allow you to attenuate the signal uh, and dial in those perfect settings. Uh, to the right of that, you have your attenuation. Uh, this is gonna be your pad, so if you're in an area that's really, really loud, like let's say you're in a concert setting or a wedding with a DJ, and you know your battery or your camera is down to its lowest input level and you're still clipping, this is gonna allow you to add a pad to that so you can soften the sound and get the right audio um, level that you need. To the right of that, you have your low cut filter. You can switch from 220 hertz, 80 hertz, and off. And this is gonna allow you to get rid of that, you know, uh, low AC rumble, or if you're maybe near a highway or something like that, that'll usually help with those lower uh, frequencies and getting rid of them. <clears throat> now, this is all an input one right here. That's why you have the lines that help uh, split diff the different um, inputs. And underneath that, we have our level indicator here. We can switch from auto, so the unit will, you know, duck and, and bring up the signal if it needs to, or we can have it in a manual setting. Uh, like I said, if you're running and gunning and there's no way, maybe you're not, you know, you don't have the opportunity to be listening in, which you should always be monitoring the audio, but if you can't, you know, you're in a situation where you can, maybe you're, you're you know, you're recording yourself, then auto might be the best way to do it. But if at all possible, I always try to shoot in manual and then you have full control of your audio signal coming in. Uh, and to the right of that, you have your limiter. So you can turn on and off your limiter, which is really nice. Make sure you don't clip. <clears throat> uh, if you know, you're in an area where the sound fluctuates uh, you know, extremely, then have that on and that's gonna make sure that you don't clip your audio. Uh, and since we went all over that, to directly to the right of that is our input two, and that is just mirrored, uh, except you know it's set to uh, to be on level or on channel input two. Another thing I wanted to mention was if we do have something connected to our 3.5 millimeter jack uh, input here, our third input, uh, channel one here or input one is actually uh, linked to input three, so you'd be able to use uh, all your different pads and attenuation, etc. Uh, with uh, input number three from this one. And then input two here is just, uh, it's mirrored from input one, so you've got all the same pads and everything on level two. And that pretty much does it, guys. I know it's a lot of stuff on here, but like I said, if you learn how to use one of the inputs here, one of the channels, then this is just mirrored, and it's just, you know, you have the options for channel one and channel two, uh, which is really nice. And once you have all your settings dialed into place, you want to make sure that's covered there so nobody touches or messes with anything there. Uh, and aside from that, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, the front of the unit has a nice Tascam logo. And underneath here, we have our hot shoe connection. Uh, if for whatever reason we were running a camera that didn't have a hot shoe connection like our Canon R system or the Fuji system, uh, then Tascam gives us this accessory here that we can go ahead and unscrew these two screws on either side uh, and replace it with this cold shoe unit here. And we would use our uh, accessory battery pack down here to give our uh, Tascam unit power if we needed phantom power or anything like that. <clears throat> and this will allow us to connect it to any camera with a cold shoe or hot shoe um, 
mount. And that's pretty much it, guys. Very simple, um, you know, very easy to use. Uh, the quality is built really nice. It's like a hard plastic, you know, there's rubber where it needs to be. Uh, and overall, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice unit. It feels very well in the hands, and I'm sure it's going to perform very well. Now, I wanted to give you guys an example of how this unit can be used on location uh, because it's a very important thing. Audio is so important in video. Uh, with DSLR cameras and the quality of, you know, all cameras, even phones, uh, Nowadays, one of the most important thing in video is audio. You know, getting a quality of audio uh, that'll match your video footage is very important. And with this unit, we'll be able to do that. Now, I wanted to use this unit in a very special way. Um, I wanted to be able to record something in true stereo. And so what that requires is two exact microphones. Uh, and paired together in what's called an X and Y pattern. And this is gonna give us true stereo. So uh, we had the opportunity to head out to the Zuma Sanctuary in Malibu, California to record a very special ceremony. And this was the Spring Equinox and New Moon Ceremony and Sound Bath. Uh, sound baths are phenomenal because there's different sounds coming from different places and the whole idea is just to absorb all the waves all the audio waves and, and to uh you know to to free the spirit and, and cleanse the body with with different sounds and vibrations so what better way to use it uh, than to record something like that so let's go ahead and cut to that footage i want you guys if you have a good pair of headphones and if not any kind of headphones as long as you can hear uh you know stereo left and right uh, i want to invite you to go ahead and do that now because it's going to be the best way to listen to this audio so let's go ahead and roll it
Well, there you go, guys. What an awesome experience that was. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I must say that the CA XLR 2D performed phenomenally well with our Canon EOS R3. If you guys want to learn more about this unit or any other other Tascam products that we carry, make sure you guys head on over to one of our Sammy's Camera Southern California locations or visit us online at sammys.com where we are so much more than a camera store.